This is your daily briefing and you are most welcome to it. I have to tell you, I hope you're sitting down. This is absolute dynamite here from Alistair Gold. Tottenham will look at attacking reinforcements in the January window if there is a deal to be done. What I find extraordinary about this is it's so vacuous, so vague, so worthless, yet there still comes with, it comes with a caveat of if there's a deal to be done. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for somebody, because we already had the Athletic give us something equally stupid. I'm waiting for somebody to say Spurs are interested in signing either a right-footed player or a left-footed player. I don't know what these people think they can get away with. They must think we're really stupid. Um, big shake-up in Europe tonight, um, and it's well overdue in my opinion. Um, Nuno Espirito Santo will be without the 10 outfield players that started at Newcastle, and this is likely to include Hugo Lloris, which would make it 11. Everybody's going to stay in London to prepare for the West Ham United derby. Spurs cannot afford to have their pants pulled down um, in another London derby. It's as simple as that. Um, I think... This is um, a really good idea. It'll show us what we're made of and maybe we won't like what we stares back at us in the mirror. Um, Steven Bergwijn will start for the first time since the win over Watford in August. Uh, recovered from injury and the Dutch winger, um, sounding like he's some kid on X Factor, says that the fans have yet to see the best of him. Um, Vitesse will be without goalkeeper Dan Reisiger due to a shoulder injury. Although they will be able to welcome back midfielder Usama Tanane, who was suspended for their last game. Um, I think the, 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 the way the team is going to lay out based upon, you know, the leftovers, for want of a nicer word, um, is the last two midfield spots. And, and that's going to be the area that's crucial. Here's my team, by the way. Um, let me know what you think of it. Um, but this business of having Delhi, Lo Celso and Winks they're going to have to, they're really going to have to think about what the plan is here i think the lineup i've gone for a 442 but obviously this is all a movable feast um and nuno's comment on the whole shake up no it's not about not caring about the competition if you're always thinking about the risk you cannot decide it's about trying to analyze and seeing what's best for us this week and next week when we have another midweek game i think he's absolutely right um, I think you should be very conservative with the shape so everybody knows their jobs, everybody's well drilled. Vitesse aren't rubbish and I think this is possibly the first really interesting game of this particular tournament. Um, there is a safety net to this um, uh, wildness if you like in so much that I won't go through the, the whole jigs and reels, but Tottenham could lose this game and still progress within the tournament. It wouldn't be an absolute disaster, but it would put a little bit of pressure um, on, on the squad moving forwards. That said, I think it's better to have that pressure later rather than sooner. As I say, playing West Ham and then there's Man United at home, Spurs have got to start getting their act together. I went through uh, the previous video, I went through the defensive line against Newcastle, and I'm going to keep on saying it. I know it's a little bit boring, but you've got to say, say it as it is, need to improve the quality of the passing. Um, Tottenham players need to be able to find each other and do so on a really, you know, <laughs> routine basis. And that starts from the back. People will argue with me, good luck. But that starts from the back and you've got to have your defenders moving the ball into the midfield areas with accuracy. Um, it's a different game further up the pitch. So that's why I, um, I, I never really call out forward line players. Although if you look at someone like Sonny, he's routinely very, very neat with his uh, passing. But we've got, to, we've got to clamp down on that and we've got to clamp down on this endless business of losing possession in our own half. Just giving the ball away. Forced errors, unforced errors, it's all the same. Spurs need to buck their ideas up. Um, but as I say, this, this game for me is going to be absolutely must watch because it will tell us a lot more about the squad. That's your lot for today. Good luck. Keep it on.